Hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm No02, and this is Warhammer 40k Dark Tide. Oh my goodness, we got into the closed beta. I literally woke up this morning, checked out Twitch, and saw that some of my favorite Twitch streamers, uh, the person I ended up watching was uh, Deadly Slob, he's usually a Tarkov streamer, playing this game, and I was like, heck yeah. We signed up for the closed beta, and now here we are. This, this is right up our alleyway, is the PvE uh, gamers and masters that uh, that I am, and of course that you are as well, that we are, I really should say. Um, welcome, fellow uh, nar narcissists and etc. Very excited to play this and try this out. I went through the options a little bit, and can I just say, now, I'm not afraid to show you my video settings here, we're on the low stuff. Can I just say where motion blur was default? Default? Default was off. Off by default. What game does that? We're going to start from left to right because uh, we read. Veteran sharpshooter, troopers of the arts, blah, blah, blah. Veterans are valid as skilled and seasoned warriors for the Emperor of Mankind. I, I need to forego a warning here. Or not forego. I, mean, I need to tell you guys a warning here. I am going to forego the lore. I'm not a lore guy. I'm not a lore guy. I'm sorry. I'm not into it. I know there's a crap ton of lore and books and depth. And I'm sure these people are quite nice if you, once you get to know them and things like that. But I'm just not a lore guy. Not into it. But sometimes, you know, I kind of like the lore when I hear it. But I'm just, I'm not going to get deep into it. As a sharpshooter, you specialize in ranged combat drills. Whether making shots count or opting to spray and pray. Range stands for four seconds. I assume that this is what I get. Like, right off the bat, because I know that there's supposed to be, like, a character progression, like, leveling up and unlocking new abilities and things like that. Stance? I have to stand still? I don't know. Uh, instantly equipping your ranged weapon, designating nearby elites, and specialize, specialist enemies as priority targets. During the stance, you deal 50% range damage. It's saying that it, uh, specializes, uh, no, does designating nearby enemy elites and specials. Leads me to believe that it highlights them. 15% bonus weak spot damage. Increase ammo reserve for all ranged weapons by 75%. Okay. Blitz. I don't get the iconic blitz frag grenade. Fragmentation grenade that explodes after a short fuse. So we throw f grenades. We like that quite a bit now, don't we? Uh, iconic. Are these passives? They seem like passive abilities. An aura ability. You and allies in coherency. Coherency, like proximity? <laughs> See, I don't get the lore. Gain a small amount of ammo whenever any of you kill an elite enemy. Okay. Resource generation. Grenades. Bonus damage. Plasma guns. I see one gun, but it's guns. Combat shovel. Okay. Zealot Preacher. Nice, nice. Zealot are fanatically pious warriors whose rage and fervor in the Emperor's name leads them to places those of lesser faith would fear to tread. <laughs> I love it. You care not if you live or die. Eh, well, maybe we don't, maybe not for us. So long as the foe is vanquished and the god and the, and the god emperor's name as a preacher, your faith grows stronger as your body tires. Empowering your attacks with holy wrath. Your strength comes not from the fallible flesh, but from the rapture of righteous, violent triumphs. <laughs> I don't know if we want to get to know these people, but that seems pretty cool. Dashes forward and towards a targeted enemy, replenishing all toughness. I assume toughness in my mind means health, but... I take it that's not the case. Increasing the damage of the next melee hit by 25%, making it a guaranteed critical hit. The bonus 25% represents a critical hit, like it's one of the same. We get 25% bonus damage, and it's a guaranteed critical hit. Like, that's two separate things? I don't know. Plus 5 damage for each 15 missing health. Max stacks 3. It's plus five, and it's not... Unless this plus five represents a percentage, this makes it sound like that having, like, an SMG will be better with this character than, like, a sniper rifle. If we were given such a choice, right? Because plus five damage per bullet. Swing faster, that's better. My initial take on it. 
Every 90 seconds, taking damage that would kill you, gain invulnerability for 5 seconds. Okay. Okay, 10% melee attack speed. Right, got it. Throw a stum. Stum. Grenade that stuns all enemies within its blast radius. Someone must spell stun. 10% uh, tough dicks, toughness, damage reduction, allies, and coherency. Okay, okay. Two-handed thunder hammers. <laughs> we have, like, it was like a twin-headed hammer. Flamers. Welcome to the internet. Psyker, psychonetic. Psychonetic. Psychic mutants or psychers are draw power from the immaturium to fuel their formidable mental abilities. They are viewed with suspicion as witches throughout the Imperium. Love it. Like, this is like real, like seriously, my first step into the 40k lore world. These are the most, I don't know, coherency of words that I've never heard said together before. <laughs> and it seems quite violent. It seems quite violent. Ironically enough, I gotta say, I don't really play these video games because I like the violence. I like the idea, the strategy, the teamwork. I like the process of, like, leveling up and working out what's the most efficient way to level up, create a character, to get that does something cool as quickly as possible. I sort of like that element of the game more. Funny enough, right? Reset the perils of the warp meter to zero and stagger enemies in front of you. Other, I, I understand staggers enemies in front of you. Killing an enemy with a brain burst <laughs> earns warp charge. Or each warp charge grants plus 3% damage. Warp charges are retained for 20 seconds. You can store up to 4 warped charges. Warp siphon. Is that like a soul? Reduce peril generated by 10%. One thing that I am concerned about for this game is... Actually, replayability outside of just grinding for XP to level up your characters. What what variables, what elements of RNG are going to be inside the actual game mechanics? And I did sort of see that there does seem to be like a semi-random horde event that happened throughout some of the missions for for uh, for the character for the streamer that I was watching, which is good, which is what Left 4 Dead has. And then like Back for Blood has, like. Abilities that trigger alarms and corruption cards and hives and a large variety of equipment that can be found and whatnot. All that has replayability. Just mechanically in the game. Outside of character progression. And a good contrast would be like uh, Alien Fireteam Elite or whatever. Elite Fire, or whatever it's called. Aliens, right? The, 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 you know, the PvE game they came out with. Um, lots of, there's a decent amount of character progression. But the missions were all scripted from start to finish. You went from point A to point B, you fought a horde here. In between point B and C, you fought a, a, a you know a swarm of Xenos here. And every every single major fight and encounter in that entire game was all scripted a part of the mission. The only variation was like the the like the the xenomorph that would pin you to the ground, the predator, the hunter. Those would occasionally hide in some random hallways. Or the challenge cards that players would induce on themselves and so that game ended up lacking replayability because it was just the same every time a unique weapons force swords and forced staves so we got like what ranged male ranged abilities a oh, brain burst target an enemy after a short duration his ability deals a high amount of damage to the target so now all these are the two characters. They have grenades and they're and they're blitz, right? They have grenades. I assume like it's a from what I saw it was a consumable. Either like regenerate it by uh, like finding loot boxes or whatever. This recharge on me. But otherwise, all I can do is knock people down. I assume we get more abilities and stuff later on as you level up. Ooh, Ogirian Skullbreaker, eh? Orgirians are massive, powerful abhumans, often used as shock troopers for the Astra Militarum. <laughs> Militarum? They are strong and loyal, but have limited intelligence. Aren't we all? Subtlety isn't the Skullbreaker's limited isn't in the Skullbreaker's limited vocabulary. You prefer to rush headlong into the fray, pounding your chosen target into the ground while relying on your 
innate physical toughness to brush aside the inevitable counterattack. Ferocious charge, bull rush. <laughs> Everyone else has like a wordy, a wordy thing. Not this guy. Excessive force. 25% melee stagger. Uh, B, oh, we got stagger here. Stagger, stagger. The stat we're used to. Stumble. Being damaged while reviving or assisting allies no longer interrupts you. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. Uh, though, do you want to revive people during during uh, during horde events during during big battle scenes? Because it might depend. Uh, plus twenty five percent damage reduction and plus twenty percent health damage reduction. Oh, toughness and health are two different things. Toughness is, I guess, our shields. I know, I know there's shields, so toughness is, are the shields. That seems strange to me. Throwing the entire box of grenades with great strength and enthusiasm. Single target high damage attack. <laughs> so the grenades don't blow up. Interesting, but they're still used to deal with big, bad, scary things. 10% uh, heavy melee attack damage. Cool. Grenadier gauntlets. Oops. I know. Go back. I don't know what I want to be. This guy seems neat. Um, I like the movement. Bonus damage. Potential invulnerability to clutch stuff. I'm not entirely sure. I think I I I mean it's the beta where it's not be scared. I think I'm most interested in seeing what this guy ends up looking like here. Uh, Deadly Saw was playing this guy. I know that like part of the aura is that like you can get different passives that trigger when you smack things with melee weapons. Let's try this guy out because he seems like far out of the realm of what I would normally do. Homeworld. It's fall. It's fall marked the beginning of the. Era and Dominus the Dark. Do these, does this matter? I'm sorry, guys. I'm not into the lore. We're skipping it. What's which is the what's the funniest sounding? Bunch of rocks. That planet's no longer in existence. That looks nice. We grew up there. A childhood. Mind Thrall, Hive Urchin, Algae Farmer, Drudger, <laughs> or mili Militia Lackey. This is not... This is not a good government to live under. <laughs> I'm going to say Mind Thrall. In the darkness, we developed our our our, uh, our mental strengths. So Algae Farmer makes sense for where we live, Right. <laughs> like many, you had a tough upbringing, but like few, you got through it. Or unlike many, you got through it. LG Farmer. A place that an Imperial Orphanage does not come cheap. <laughs> oh god. Those orphans deemed fit and able are often sent to the mines where they will toil at the back-breaking work to pay off their debts to their generous benefactors. Thank you, generous benefactors. We're going to go algae farmer. We had a, we lived in a nice place. Learning good, honest, hard work. We don't mind the taste. There aren't a lot of options for folk like you growing up, but you had to find a way to overcome the trials of youth by fear, me, by fair means or foul. Fair or fair. Shaped to the wastes. Isolated. Self reliance forged by toil. The backs of strong laborers who man mines, farms, manufacture torums, <laughs> and loading docks throughout the galaxy. Some never know life beyond backbreaking toil. Growing strong beneath the arduous demands of their overseals, overseers. Grinding toil? In the Imperium, manufacturers care only about output, and if workers die due to overwork or lack of safety conditions, then so be it. More workers are readily available as grist, as as grist, for the mill. 
I don't know if that's a, a lore thing or I'm just illiterate. I'm sorry. I do technically have a speech impediment. I was in speech therapy for like uh, almost five years when I was a younger kid. And it ended with, um, I think you're good enough, is what they literally said to me. Is there any words that you can think of now that you can't really say too well? I couldn't think of anything, so they gave me a certificate and sent me on my way. And here we are. As long as the Imperial endures, no sacrifice is too great. Definitely got the fat tongue. Visions. It is possible to make a living telling fortunes. No, we don't like that crap. We are forged by toil. There's, does any of this matter? Oh my god. Does any of this matter? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Does any of it matter? We're role playing here. We're into the lore. Defining moment. You've been through a lot. The struggle... You call life demanded it, but through all the hardships and all the triumphs, one incident stands out in your memory which has shaped you more than anything. Like an awakening. Bikers, sometimes called witches, are mutants who use their minds to draw power from the warp. They perform supernatural feats. Many are blissfully unaware of the power within until they experience a psychic awakening, after which they are often shunned from society or even haunted by the Scholastia Sakana and the Scoliosis Psyches. The voices? Hearing voices would be considered a sign of madness. However, to some members of the Ecclesiarchy Ecclesiars Ecclesiarchy and the Scholastia Sakana <laughs> Oh god. I'm so embarrassed. Such messages are a source of inspiration for they are perhaps a sign of blessed communion with the God Emperor. Captured. Mutant, in whether warped by genetic defect or or chaos taint. <laughs> Who, who's smearing their chaos taint on my face? Get out of here. Get out of here with your chaos taint. Mutants are uh, re reveled by the Imperium. Most Imperial reviled. I'm sorry, reviled. Most Imperial agencies teach intolerance of the mutants as a key tenet and see mutation as a curse that leads only to corruption. The black ships. Rogue psychers. Oft-cold witches that are not slain outright are either sent to the Imperial's table via the black ships or taught to control their powers under the grueling regime of the Scholastia Sakadadada. Unsanctioned psychers are rounded up and handed over to the Adeptus Astra Telepathica. <laughs> Where that's like a, that's like the new uh, that's like the new Burning Man coming out soon. Where their fate is decided, most most are either selected for training by the Scholastia Psychonina, or sent on the black ships to feed the Astronomicon. Unsanctioned, unsanctioned, unsanctioned psychers are considered to be the most serious threat to the Imperium, and they are ruthlessly hunted. So go on to, so go on to be pressed into service by the Sokasha-Saikananadada. But for most, a darker fate awaits. This sucks. These, <laughs> these, none of these are happy. Uh, we're blissfully unaware, I guess. I kind of like the voices. I kind of like the voices. We hear stuff. Oh. Oh, nice. Are we lady or man? Lady or man. It, it, to, to those to those of you in the chat... Oh, God, what happened to our face? Uh, I do want to mention at this point, you probably realize we are playing in the Lotus settings. <laughs> My computer struggles with this, with this game. We don't have the we don't have the vid card for it. We only got an i5 processor. We're, like, scraping the bottom of the barrel as far as minimum requirements go here. Hopefully it plays well. Hopefully it plays well. Typically in these games, I play... I play... I play ladies, typically. How about you guys? Because I actually... From a, from a storytelling perspective, I typically really like the idea of a female hero. Strong, powerful leader. Um, and I mean, like, I have a two-year daughter. Two-year-old daughter now, so I like... The, I thinking in terms of, like... like a super badass women doing badass stuff. So we're going to roll with that. No shame, right? I have no shame. No, we are pale, though. Just as pale as can be. Oh, we're a looker. There's something wrong with the eyes. Oh, can we go? Oh, let's see. We can go. Ah. 
Oh, but only one eye can be... We don't want filmy eyes. We want nice green eyes. Honestly, that first hairstyle might be the best. Normal hair. Fun, it's fun hair. Facial hair. Those eyebrows. I thought we were going to get beards. Welcome to Cyberpunk 27.7 or whatever. <laughs> the hair the hair looks not good on our graphic settings. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the, hair, the, the hair looks so not good on our graphic settings. <laughs> These look normal. We have face tattoos? Uh, I'm not a tattoo guy. Not, not really a tattoo guy by any means here. Scars? No, we lived a good, happy life on our algae farm and that nice, pretty planet. Short or tall? I'm fine with being tall. It's like, it's like I'm sure, I'm sure any of you out there who are psychologists have just like psychoanalyzed me. I should have known the Enforcers would not tolerate me forever. My skills they valued, but my nature, that they despised. I was a convenience, one who could glean truths they could not, who could follow a trail of evidence like a shining path when all others remained blind to its existence, and all of it asking nothing in return. That I brought closure to the grieving, and the guilty to the penitent's pyre was my reward. Look at this, your character's personality affects how your character responds to other characters and events? That sounds like a, that sounds like that would be an un unbelievable amount of voice lines to record. If every character, all four characters have different personalities, three of them? Goodness. I've dreamed many dreams before, but never like this. They're normally... Oh, well, God. They're normally nicer, with delicious food and flowers and comforting colors. Ooh, I don't like her. and songs to warm the heart and laugh. It seems that no matter how low I set my expectations, we're gonna be the loner. It can always get worse. <laughs> a lifetime spent also in the too, mind, if it's too loud, I'm sorry. The seekers and the bigots in the most desolate places the Imperium of Man has to offer. I'm sorry if it's too loud. <laughs> I had not balanced the audio for this at all. I will admit. Your sentence. Oh, we're prisoners, narratively here, I see. This is where your life journey has led. You are a prisoner of the Imperium, convicted of a crime you may or may not have committed. Definitely didn't, it was not us. But guilt is irrelevant at this point. Innocence proves nothing. Uh, disobedience or insubordination. Disobedience, real or implied, to Imperial authority is enough to earn demotion, prison, or death. Election effect, red prison garb. Nice. Misplaced faith. So powerful are the upper figures of the uh, Adeptus Missa Minestroni that to draw their ire by questioning their faith or worldly habits is to invite a death sentence. Green prison garb. Sedition. Overtly seditious conduct ranging from the disrespectful speech to mass organization with intent to protest is all considered part of a tendency toward rebellion against the established order. And that is something the Imperium will not tolerate. Or yellow. The punishment for uh, for the de de dereliction of duty is often death, but in some cases this sentence is waived in exchange for service in a panel battalion. Or worse. You go misplaced faith. I don't quite understand the, the, the wording here. So, some figures are so powerful that to draw their ire by questioning their faith or other or or worldly habits is to invite death sentence. So this is basically just there's somebody in a high place doing bad things and uh, we get punished for it. We know. We're innocent. Uh, I mean, we're going to be no O2. Let's do the randomize. A, a ferial, Melissa Sande, Lita. Well, we're going to be no O2. I'm, I'm sorry, role players. Sorry, role players. Not today. But you were born on Pavane. 
You spent your favorite form formative years cleaning out foul-smelling algae vents. We liked it, though. Rarely stepping outside the confines of the vast synthetic complex. But when we did, it was quite nice. We lived on a nice planet. The powerful physical specimen, you were pressed into service as a heavy lifter in a factorum. One day, the voice of the Emperor spoke in your mind and told you to dedicate your life to his service. Cool. Cool. Powerful jaw. Did we not get to or change our face? I have to do this. This is the face of a hard life. I think it's just the graphics. Like <laughs> something about this yelling me. We're going with this one. Uh, you were declared unfaithful by a famous deacon of Crucis. Most uh, most knew the charges stemmed from the audacity of questioning the deacon's lavish lifestyle, but you were sent to the prison ship. The Tancred Bastion, all the same. You are aboard the Tancred Bastion en route to Atama Prime. So people know we're innocent. We, we, we strive on that. Only alphabetical characters and hyphen to create a username. No. O2. Please use only... Oh, we have a freaking... We have a number. Hyphen. Okay, we're going to go... No, hyphen. O2. No, O2. Finalize reject. Reject creation. I love it. I do really... I wasn't expecting this. I really do enjoy here the uh, commitment to the sort of roleplay theme of it all. Very cool. Bless be thy fury. Tongues of flame. I love this sort of like... Uh, <laughs> Crazy, wild, culty, religion-y sort of stuff. It's super cool, super interesting. Smite all who's a, who oppose the Emperor. Become vengeance. Vengeance is mine, says God. Uh, thou shalt kill. All right. Ooh, we're getting deep into the into the credence here. This is the Psychonium. All right. We start. Okay, that's better. You can chain light and heavy attacks in any order. Chain attacks have different angles of attack and damage properties. Let's hold down. Hold down, it's a power attack. See? I have to click. Okay. Gross. Interesting. Oh, we only performed one light chain? I see. I kind of don't like that heavy attacks and light attacks use the same button. For the right moment to use your weapon's special attack. Okay, special, uh, others have special abilities that ch changes their attack. Perform special attack. Charge? Charge sword? Interesting. Is that not my special attack? I don't... I don't know what the... Oh. Oh. I can't believe this def the, 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 the default bind for this is on my mouse. What are my mouse buttons? Oh, no, no, no. Peril 82. When the heretics surround you, push them back to create space. You might even live. How nice. 
I like that. That's clean. Psychers always have access to psychic abilities and combat. Psychers' abilities build peril. Too much peril is lethal. Meditate to quell your peril. charge this forever. Look at our peril go up. Cool. And we died. Interesting. So I wonder then if I can... So we reload our abilities by quelling peril. So why can we charge power separately and then charge on target? It wouldn't let me shoot. Use your combat ability to unleash a shockwave that knocks enemies back and removes all peril. Oh. Where do, where, where, how do I use this now that I, I charge it up and then I... So I can sort of... Ch okay, so this... We listen Don't to a lot of sound still. effects. If you stand still, the heretics will drag you down and kill you. That's bad. Melee attacks cannot be dodged if you have a ranged weapon active. Face strafe. Face bar when dodging. Or space bar when strafing. Got it. Oh, you got nothing. Oh, God. Now you're punk. Take toughness damage. Toughness, enemy attacks initially damage your toughness. Once your toughness is broken, they damage your health. Additionally, enemy attacks will stagger and stun. Oop, we need to finish the toolkit. Killing enemies in melee forever. replenishes toughness. Each Shelf nearby and teammate cover. also grants toughness regeneration. Okay. So that's just natural. Alright, toughness on melee with melee kills. Squad coherency. Where you at, squad? Brant. Thanks, Brant. I see in the little... The little, like, uh, head with the aura around it on the bottom left is our oh, advanced training, is our coherency. Using armor piercing weaponry or attacks to damage armored enemies, damage carapace armored enemy with heavy attacks. Just, like, slapping him in the arm. Can we sprint and hold a heavy attack? Once you've pushed an enemy... Attack quickly before they can recover. It's very effective. Yes? Oh. That's not. Hold on. Is now what? Oh, hold. Hold it. I see. Interesting. Oh. Keep your team alive for as long as you can. Medipacks and ammo crates can be picked up and deployed to aid your team. Man, we're going to need to change some freaking hotkeys here. Oh, Q is default to switching, switching weapons. That is my thing. Work. 
Corruption weakens you, drains you. Eventually Corruption reduces maximum health. If you are downed when your last wound is corrupted, you are incapacitated and captured. When your last wound is corrupted, corruption is caused by certain attacks. Items are being downed, so that is trauma. The Imperium's mercy. Help me. Thanks. Oh, get intimate. Keep your eyes open for Medicaid stations. They might save your life. Oh, we gotta find the loot to activate a meta. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Excuse me, Brant. <laughs> Use your eyes and your nosy flapping mouth to warn your team of priority targets. Sniper! Don't worry about that sniper, I got him. Can we... Look at that. So, I'm sprinting. Look at, our, look at our ammo. This is important. We shoot the gun. We start to reload to the point that we have no ammo in our magazine. And now, now that we're sprinting, when we end, we, get to, we have to finish the reload. But if we shoot, start the reload. Oh. Like, I wonder, like... We can, like, begin the reload and have just, like... Like less than a second of time. How do I mark hold? Scout that area. We power slide. Don't dawdle. <laughs> we figured it out. We're advanced. Shot, and I'll tell you, I told you so. Oh god. Sprint across. If we're a power slide, we need to change my crouch key. Usually it's, it's control, but trying to hold shift and then push control at the same time is a pain in the butt. But it shelters you from enemy fire. Suppressed enemies cannot shoot back, making them much. Oh, ADSing with those guns is tilting it sideward, sideways. You suppress, huh? Wonder if there's a, a, a suppression stat, suppression stat. Fire, crouch. Oh, we're suppressed. Can we tell? Is there a debuff for being suppressed? We need to shoot. Shoot while it's suppressed. Oh. Whoa. Got him. Ah, you have completed your basic training. completed. Smite all, smite all who besmirch the Emperor's name. I live my everyday life. Easy. Well, I think for the sake of YouTube, that'll be the introduction video of what we got going on here for the night. Oh, yeah. I'll figure out what we got going on for a second. Camera feels a little close. As far as the field of view is concerned. Vertical. Did it change? Did that even change? It did. Not for this at all. I'll change that back. Because I think this might be for first person mode. What got going on here? Press level 11? Press level? 
armory? A lore room? Armory exchange? Got it, got it, got it. Hey, dude, you doing some lore? Cool. I think this is where we choose our mission. It looks pretty sweet. Excited to learn a little bit about the story of this game. Got a lore guy over there. Pretty freaking big place. I assume, like, I assume, like, a lot of these places can potentially just be areas that we can come in and interact, like, again, you know? Future updates and whatnot. This. The. Uh, like, uh, oh, I see. Yeah. Basic training, advanced training. Right? Box. Very cool. So, as far as I can tell, it looked like there was only the armory. At the end of the day here. Armory. Go back to the tutorial. Or choose a mission. And the next video we'll choose a mission. And it's a freaking gameplay. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the future.